just you? And is yeah, just Bobby. Like she, she's here. <laughs> I'm just in the background. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to share my screen so we can see what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> All righty, and I'm going to turn my video off. If you don't need to. Okay. All righty, we are inside of command. And I'm going to go to the consumer app, which is on the left-hand side, and it's the last active app on here. So it'll say consumer when I hover over. I'm going to turn my cursor on. Hang on a second. Where did? Cursor on. There we go. Uh, so here is the consumer app right here. It's this looks like a little box with a little person in the circle. I click on consumer. Okay. And when we are inside of Consumer, it's going to take us automatically to this first landing pages as our first spot. Uh, if you don't have any landing pages, this will be blank. I have one in here right now. Uh, I'm going to click on this, and I'll just show you what's the one I have in here now. And it's, uh, it's a video walkthrough. Uh, it could be a video of a property walkthrough if we wanted that. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make one of these today as well. Okay, great. I'm going to go back into my landing pages. But the first thing I want to start with is I want to start with my agent site. So if I click on agent site pages, it's going to show me what I have. If I haven't set up my agent site yet, uh, it'll be blank. Um, if I want to set up my agent site, though, I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this page, mm -hmm. and it's going to say configure your site down here. And I'm going to okay. click. And then it says, what provider would I like to use for your site? And I want to use the new KW agent sites. So I'll click submit. And it's going to bring me to a Kelly guide. And this Kelly guide is going to walk me through everything I have to do to complete my website. Okay. Get started down here. And it just says that there's some places that I need to make sure that I have an inclusion of Market Center Brokerage DBA logo, an inclusion of ownership statement, and a compliance, and I must be in compliance with the local border commission laws and rules. And it's up to us to check those rules. If you don't have approved Market Center DBA logo, you can click right here and you can find one. Um, okay. You have one that I use, it's already in there, so I won't be searching for it, but you can find it by clicking here. Okay. So I'm going to click Acknowledge and Continue. And it's going to show me a display of a preview of my current website. So on the right hand side, it says my subdomain, which is basically what do I want my domain name to be. Uh, I made it wakewithhold.kw.com. So automatically it's going to add that .kw.com to it. So whatever I put in here is going to be. Uh, Blake Whitfold, if I put Blake Whitfold Real Estate, it'd be Blake Whitfold Real Estate.kw.com. So I will go with just my name. Uh, if you have a, uh, a catchphrase or something, you could put it in there, or maybe like a, a name for a business inside of them. You put that in there. And then I'm going to click Confirm Domain. And then it says, Congrats, you've claimed this subdomain. If it's already been claimed, they're going to reject it, and you'll have to try again. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down to marketing profile information and I'm going to click that drop down. And then this is all the information that has been pulled from my marketing profile. And I'm just making sure that it's right now my first name, my last name, the admin mm -hmm. name for my brokerage, the address. If you're on a team or a business or a business name, it's going to go right here. Okay. Professional job title, so yours would be realtor. And then I put the little, the registered trademark symbol in here. Okay. And then I have my email in here. And now when it comes down to your office phone number, this can be your phone number. Oh, okay. 
and then your mobile phone number can be the same thing. Then I when, they, when they have to like address and stuff, I put the office address in there. Yeah, right? yeah, put the office address, yep. Okay. And then for your biography, you're gonna, you could write anything. I just have a couple sentences in here. Working with people from all over in real estate has been a great joy of mine. I'm an agent in the Inglewood, Florida area, but I can help you buy and sell and invest all across the globe. I would love to connect with you. I would love to connect you with the right agent to help you with your home. It's a very quick biography. It doesn't need to be long. Okay. Don't end up reading them anyways. So some of them do. I'm not going to lie. Some people do get business off of their biography. <laughs> uh, my agent license number I put in here my compliance and legal footer. So what I put in here is this is not intended as a solicitation. If you are already working with an agent, please disregard. Each office is independently owned and operated. Is, it, is that you put that in yourself or is that kind of in there already? No, I, I put that in there myself. Okay. So I, I'll leave that up there if you want to copy that down for a second. Sure. Write it down. Or I'll do it. Yeah. Take a screen. Take a quick picture. Yeah. Make sure it's clear. Okay. Just took a shot of it. So. <laughs> so you to, uh, how do you do a screenshot, um, Blake? Uh, what kind of computer do you have? He this he's just using a um Chromebook. a Chromebook. Oh, Chromebook. Um. Screenshot. That's a good question. I'm not sure how to. Let me. I can. Yeah. If you don't know how, don't worry about it. He'll just, uh, he just took a picture of it on his phone. Okay. Yeah, I've never taken a screenshot on Chromebook, so I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. As soon as I saw a couple houses, I'll email it to you. Okay. I'm going I'm to break down and buy a, a MacBook. That's okay. my. I have a nice computer. He doesn't. Yeah, I got the, my old one. She's got a nice one. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work off a of Mac. I love my Macs. Do you? Oh, mm. yeah. That's good. Hoping we get some more uh, buyers and sells, and I'll grab one quicker. Doesn't call him. Right. Okay, so um, I put my brokerage license center uh, number in here, and this okay. is found at the top of our roster. If you have a copy of our roster too, mm -hmm. uh, this is my market center phone number. So that's not required. I have my market center phone number in here. Um, that once again can be your cell phone number, as far as I understand. Okay. We're going to come to the next one. It says compliance legal footer link. This is for like the state of Texas. So you can always press this trash can button to delete it. Okay, good. You don't need this. And we also don't have any legal footer images. Uh, imagery though, this is going to be my picture. So it's going to be appearing right here next to my name. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's my headshot, and it should be 360 by 360. So 360 pixels by 360 pixels. Okay. Same thing for your Market Center logo. Okay. So anything basically we're uploading in here should be like the small stuff should be 360 by 360. Okay. And then we come down to social media. And we can input our uh, social media stuff. So like my Facebook business page, I could put in here Twitter, if I had a Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. And then my app link is automatically filled in for me, which is nice, because I could go in here and copy it and then paste it wherever I want to for people to download my app. No, that's nice. Very, very nice. And then I'm going to click Save and Continue. It says, congratulations, you've, uh, it was too fast for me, but it's, you've successfully created your first thing in here. So we're on a good start. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing is style and theme. Uh, you can choose between a red theme and a dark theme. The dark theme is what we see in the preview right now. Uh, we, mm -hmm. It doesn't change if I switch it to the red theme, but it would be red here instead. All the buttons okay. would be red. Uh, I keep it on dark theme. My app is also dark themed, so I like to brand it that way. Okay. <laughs> uh, homepage text. So this is this right here. This is the homepage text. Find your dream home. I can change that in here if I want to. 
Um, let's say, uh, find your home on the beach. Oops. And it changes. Okay. So I'm going to, I'll capitalize this. Home. And then uploading a here homepage hero image. So the picture in the background here is the hero mm -hmm. image. So anything that I upload in here will appear back here. I have one picture in here, and it's the it says Keller Williams Realty Gold, and then it has the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is what it looks like in here. Oh, nice. And then uh, I can add up to five images in here, and it will rotate. I just have one because I like the static image. Yeah. You want a static image, put one picture in. If you want rotating images, put more than one. OK. And it also says up here, these are the requirements for the picture. So it says these will display randomly. Uh, and mm -hmm. then of course JPEG and PNG. So this is a PNG file I have in here. Um, the recommended size is 1200 by 1200 pixels and you can upload it to five images. There are stock images in there now if you haven't changed them. And they all look like a New England uh, Midwest. <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah. So, um, so I can add more and if I to add more all I have to do is click this upload button. And then it's mm -hmm. going to ask me from where, and I'll click it here, and it pulls up my my file system. So oh, nice pictures, photos, and then I can choose a photo. Oh, here we go. I'll put this nice. up. receptionist. <laughs> And it will upload. And now I have a puppy receptionist that will rotate in here. That's cool. I'm going to click Save and Continue. It says, congratulations. You've selected your theme and style. And now we're getting into the nitty gritty of the content. So I don't believe my content looks like this at all anymore. I've changed this all around. And I'm going to show you my website, what it looks like now. OK. And you can do the same thing. Come on, puppy receptionist. I gotta go out and get some pictures <laughs> of the beach and yeah. yeah, absolutely. Your real pictures are better than any stock images. Oh, here it is, puppy receptionist. There it is. <laughs> Don't look. I was trying to tell Dawn not to look at the puppy. Oh. <laughs> She she wants some a dog. Do <laughs> you have a puppy? No, uh, I just had it. Yeah, I, oh, I have a picture in the background on one of my things. I have puppies yeah. visiting right now. Not oh. baby puppies, but dogs. <laughs> nice. Um, this is what my company profile looks like right now. I just added this page, but the original page is this page as soon as it loads. So I changed it to technology coach and realtor. And I talk okay. about the teaching that I do and that I'm a realtor and all that fun information. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny in this picture that nobody is here anymore, except for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to change that picture. Um, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> So I can, the way I do that, this, right, the first one that pops up is the SEO, so search engine optimization. And what mm -hmm. I want in here is I can put stuff like uh, real estate. Uh, and when I do the SEO description, I want to make it like a sentence, because otherwise mm -hmm. Google is going to skip over it. Um, they want okay. real content now. So let's see, real estate agent. So I'm going to point out my keywords that I have. So I have real estate agent is my keyword, one of them. Uh, technology is a keyword in Southwest Florida. 
is a keyword, but this is a full sentence. So this will be picked up better by search engines. Okay. Um, and then the URL slug here. Let's see, I can change this from company profile to uh, services. And then I can change my URL slug, which comes after that's gonna look like this, blakewhipple.kw.com slash about us. I'm gonna change it to services. And then it changes to services down here. And then I'm gonna come to content. This is where you can have fun. So company profile, I can change this to, uh, what can I do for you? Question mark. And then I can upload the background picture. So the hero image again, the or the header image and click upload. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show, oh, I can't see it like this. Why did it do it like that? There you go. Um, let's see what would be good. As we scroll through all my pictures. <laughs> yeah. Put one of my tour groups in there. Um, they're, they're at Animal Kingdom and Disney. Nice. And I'll click set image. And it's uploading now. And here's my image I just cropped. Oh, cool. And then I can have the other paragraph, which is right here. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is interesting. Oh. I like to capitalize words that shouldn't be capitalized. <laughs> And then we come down to section one. So this is the headline title. And to change it, I'll change it right here. And then okay. this one paragraph is going to be right here. To change this photo right here, I'll click on this upload to change it out. And same thing for mm -hmm. section two. And then the footer title, I can, I'm actually just going to delete that because I don't like the footer title. But in the footer description, I can put like an inspirational quote. Um, That's, that's my personal preference because I changed this all from real estate into what mm. I'm actually doing for the company. Okay. And then I will click continue and it's going to take me to the about me page. Um, this is my bio. Once again, this is the SEO. It's the same process. Uh, but here's my SEO description. Blake Whitbold is a technology ambassador. Now I'm going to change this to So it's still, you know, it's going to be about me, about mm -hmm. flash about me, and then I'm going to click on content, and then I'm going to change this. And then bio, here it is. It's about Blake, about Blake right there. And then my bio, it's the same one that I just copy and pasted. Okay. The contact title is literally just contact Blake. You could have contact me. Um, you could have contact anybody if you want, whatever you want in that title. Followed mm -hmm. by the phone number and your email. I'll click continue. And then it takes me to a contact page. And this is, um, it's the search engine, same thing. Mm -hmm. And then if I click on content, I can change all this. Like I, there could be a paragraph in here, but I don't feel there needs to be a paragraph to explain what this page is. It right. literally says it right there in the title, content. Yeah. <laughs> so I make it a simple paragraph. <laughs> that would show up right in here though. Mm -hmm. And then message hint, this is this 
saying right here. So when I would click there, this would disappear. So I can put question prompts in here for them to answer, to send it to me. Okay. So like, are you looking to buy or sell? What's your time frame? Uh, where are you in your search? What is your budget? Things like that. Then phone number and email, and I'll click save and continue. Saving. And now my site is complete. Great, awesome. So I know this says your site will automatically launch on October 1st. Well, that was way last October 1st, not the one. <laughs> so my site's been live for a while now. And I'll click yeah. the X button in the corner to take me back into command. And now we can see if I click on agent site pages, the edits that I have done. Mm -hmm. um, so these are my original creations right here at the 2019. And then a testimonial page, which I added. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, Coffee and Command was just a test page about us again, testing and working on stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is this is the edit that I made today. So now, if I if I actually go along up to the top here where it says landing pages agent site, if I click on Guide Builder, this is talking about the app. So inside the app, there are two separate guides, a buying guide and a selling guide. And as they go along, as your consumer goes along with it, uh, you can track what they're doing. And you can change things. If I want to change the guide, I can click this pencil button and I can move things around. So let's say if I want get pre-approved to be first, I can move that to be first and then they can start their search. So all I have to do is drag it by these handlebars. Nice. Uh, continuing along the top, if I have site and app settings, if I click on this, this is just like, like going through the Kelly guide, but faster. So here's my general page. I can change my, my hero text here, which is that uh, find your dream home. Mm -hmm. recently. And then here's the images that I put in there. Then download app from your hero text, find your dream home, and virtual tours. If I want a virtual tour, I can link one right in here. So I can select a listing for a virtual tour. Um, I don't have I'll click Inglewood. So I'm looking for. This is not this soon. There used to be a selection between all listings or my listings, and now it looks like it. Could you put the like the MLS number in there? Uh, yeah, you could. Right here is the MLS number. Okay. Um, but for some reason, I think it's just set on mine, which is wrong. Uh, and then I can click Save Changes down here when I'm finished. If I click, if I scroll back up and go up to URLs. I'm mm -hmm. going to see my domain name um, and my app URL. So if I ever need my app URL, I can go in here and click copy and then paste it everywhere. Oh, nice. Featured listings. I can add featured listings on here. So what the way it works is that the, it's at the bottom of my, I'm going to go back to my home page. At the bottom here, here's my featured listings. And I can add more and I can select a listing. Let's see. Oh, see, here's the selection only my listings or all listings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to search by city. I'm going to do Inglewood. And only a few are popping up for some reason. I think it'll work better with an exact address. Let's do a zip code. Yeah, this is being weird. <laughs> so we'll go back to Englewood. And we'll, we'll say this. This is New Jersey. I don't want New Jersey. <laughs> I could do that. That's a piece of land. I don't want to talk about land. 
Ocean Spray. Here we go. 770 Yale Street, 550,000. I'm going to select that and I'm going to click done. And it adds a new feature listing in here. If I go over here and I refresh, so this is my web page again. Oh, puppy. Uh, it hasn't popped up. So you got to give it at least 15 minutes for it to update. Okay. And then it'll pop up in there. Um, so you can put up to 12 featured listings in here. Wow. And I'm going to go to theme now, which is the next tab over and where I could choose between the red theme and the dark theme. Still keep it on mm -hmm. the dark theme. And then if I click on site pages, this is where I can add a testimonial page if I want to. I have to create it first. Um, but I could click add <laughs> and ask me which page to add in. Um, I don't have that out there yet. So we'll go over that in a second. And then I can move these pages around so I can put about me on top and this will switch it in my search, in my website, uh, in the list of pages available. If I want to delete something, I can click the three buttons or three dots at the side. I can either select the page or I can delete it. <coughs> delete, click to confirm. And services, delete, click to confirm. And then I just have these pages now. I'm going to go back to landing pages though. And I'm going to click create a new site in the right hand corner, this green button. And it's going to ask me, do I want it on my agent site or do I want it as a standalone page? To add a testimonial page, you're going to click on my agent site and you'll click create page. And I'm going to title this. Okay. And now, this is going to be the same process for any page that you create. Um, all of these can be dragged over and dropped in. So I'm going to bring over a, where is my, I'm going to bring over my team. So if I have a team in here, I can put their photos in here and their information. Um, and I would do that by clicking configure widgets, but I don't have a team. So I'm going to start it. There. I'm trying to get the delete button to pop up. There we go. Uh, click this trash button and it deletes it. Um, but I'm going to put a testimonial list in here. So we can have testimonials. And then I'm going to have a testimonial content at the bottom, or uh, capture form, testimonial capture form. And then finally, I'm going to have a contact form at the bottom. Right there. Perfect. So now I'm going to click configure widgets. And I can, I need to look for the, so it says from our clients, this is the headline. And I'm going to write, okay, we'll go with fantastic reviews from fantastic people. And I could write a paragraph on what they need to do. So, and the client details, we can leave the first name, last name, city, client sense and neighborhood in here. If I want to take any of those off, let's say I don't want their city in there, I can take that out. I can take their last initial out and just have their first name. Uh, I can leave client in sense and neighborhood. And there are selected testimonials already. So someone put a testimonial in for me and I can browse that testimonial. And this is entered in at, through the testimonial capture page, or not page, but widget. And I'm like, okay, so I only have one. So I'll click continue and I'll leave that up there. Then I'm going to click save and apply. And it is going to take me to my next one. Why is it not letting me? I guess it is. Oh, yeah. 
So now I'm gonna go up to the top where it says testimonial list. One out of three, I'm gonna click the arrow button to go to the next one. And it'll be this, um, the capture page for testimonial. And I have no team name, so I'm gonna put Keller Williams Realty Gold. You can leave this blank. I'll just call it that again. Um, this right here description is going to be this paragraph. Then the review headline, how would you like to rate your experience, is going to pop up here. Uh, and then the placeholder test, or text, sorry, is uh, going to pop up in the review area, which will disappear once they click in it. So I'm, I think that's OK. So I'm going to click Save and Apply. Um, nothing. So now I'm going to go to the next page up here at the top. So this is testimonial capture. I'm going to go to three out of three, which is the contact form. And I'll leave the contact us in there. And, uh, the body text is fine. It doesn't need to be anything. And message placeholders right there. And then my the office phone number. Um, this can be changed between your phone number, the office and yours. So I'm going to make it mine. I'll click Save and Apply. And I would say that's complete for me. So I'm going to click Save Changes at the top. And it asks, would you like to publish this as an agent site? This will make it visible to others. And I'll click Yes. Now, if I go back to my site and app settings up here, and I click Site Pages, and I click add a page. Here's my brand new one that I created. I can add that. And where is it? Come on. I'll refresh. It didn't work. Apparently, it's not wanting to add itself. I don't know why. Come on. Oh, well, what was it doing? That's weird. It's being very strange. It's supposed to, when you click to add the new page, it asks you which page you'd like to use. And I click on the one we just created, and I click Continue, and it should add it in there. Hmm. Weird. And it's not adding it. Oh, and it didn't add it at all. OK, I'm going to click Save Pages. I'll change this. Page. I don't know, it's not wanting to work correctly for me. I'm not sure why. But that's how you would add a page in there. I am going to just delete this though, this new page. Because for some reason it's being, it is what it is. So we're going to go back into landing pages now. We're just going to create a landing page for a specific property. Uh, it'll be good to, when you have a listing, it's nice to show your clients that, hey, I have an individual website for your house. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to click Create a New Site, and I'm going to say it's as a standalone page now. And I'll click Create Page. And I'm going to just title this. I'm going to give it the address of the property. I'm going to use the office's address.
And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in this branded header. So it has my information in here already. It has my logos and icons. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in the listing. This isn't an actual, this is just the placeholder listing. And at the very bottom, I'm going to just put in a lead form. And that is all you have to do to create a individual website for a property. I put three things in here, a branded header, a listing, and a lead form. I could now click configure widgets and my branded header is done. So I believe that check marked, but I'm going to, or we'll just start with the branded header. Okay, so my header text, I'm going to put the address. And then I leave my headshot there, my name, phone number. Uh, one, I'm going to put dashes in here. When this first came out, you weren't supposed to put any dashes in. <clears throat> I'm putting dashes in now. Email address, my logo for the team is right there. Uh, and then I'm going to click Save and Apply. And the changes take effect in here. So here is 1160 South McCall Road. And I'm going to click uh, the arrow button for the next one to two. And it's going to ask me to find a listing. So I'm going to click Browse Listings. And I'm going to search. Uh, I don't have any of these. Let's just say find something from Inglewood, Florida. Oh, we'll use Jen Clifford's. Uh, we'll click on the listing. And this is kind of hard to see because these, I mean, you guys might have better eyesight than I do, but these pictures are very tiny and I have to guess kind of which one I want to display. Uh, we'll do, we'll do that one. And they pull the images from the MLS. Uh, and this is just the first image that's on the MLS that pops up. But okay, as an example, we'll do a different one. I'm gonna do the pull one instead. Uh, I could click custom image and drag my own picture in here if I wanted to, but I'm gonna go from the listing. We'll leave that there and I'm gonna click save and apply. And now the listing has become configured for this property. It tells you the square footage, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, uh, the year it's built, about the property. Uh, this is all pulled from the MLS. It go, has all the pictures in here, details and features, and a map of where it's located. You, when you guys do this, you become a webmaster for your clients. How many other people, this is, this is not through your search website, this is its own website for this property. So if you do a Facebook ad uh, through campaigns, you can connect this property to that ad and they won't be able to click off into anything else, but they have all your information here so they can contact you directly. Really I mean, nice. I, I love, this is one of my favorite features when you can create your own web page in a few minutes. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna click the next arrow over to go to the lead form. And I'm gonna leave this interested let's talk alone. That's fine, that sounds good to me. And I'll click save and apply. And now it's done, I can click publish page. I'm gonna say yes. And this automatically creates a URL. You can go buy a custom domain name if you're in a, um, if you would like to, it's only, it's like maybe 10 bucks. And you're only gonna have it for a year, most likely less than a year, the property won't, in this market, the property's not gonna last that long, um, especially if it's a good house. Uh, you'll pay 10 bucks for that. It's worth it to have a custom domain name of that property address. So I'm not gonna go out and buy one because that, I, I, it's not my property. Um, but this is the one I just made. Oh, I have another one, the same thing. Um, let's take a look. Here is the website. 
This is fantastic. I like this. I'm getting goosebumps just looking at it. <laughs> 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 it is nice. It it like it makes me feel like a genius, even though I just dragged three things into a, 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 a thing. So it's awesome. I like my drags and drag and drops. Those are easy. So, so if it was like, mm -hmm. oh sorry, if it was your listing, uh -huh. that's when you would buy the that's when you would buy the uh, domain name. Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, if you're just um, if you're a buyer or a if you're a brand new agent and you're just advertising a listing, you can do that too. Um, but I would talk to the listing agent to see if that's okay. Hey, can I go ahead and buy this domain name and advertise your listing? Cause they may want to buy the domain name too. So, okay. you know, it's, it's really, you guys have to talk about it. Uh, but I would do that if you had the listing. I don't see okay. that. It's, it's a cheap thing to do to advertise your, it's, it's cheaper than sending out direct mail. You know, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you buy a website or buy a domain and you have your own website there and you would forward it to this address. Uh, same thing with campaigns. You're going to have it. They're going to fill out the lead form and then they're going to be sent to this address. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to show you guys the app. And to do that, I need to connect my phone. I'm going to turn my video back on and I'm going to stop my screen share. Uh, oh, uh, Marlene asked, where do you buy a domain from? And you're going to buy it from GoDaddy.com. I just put that in there for you, Marlene, if you want to copy and paste that. Okay. And then I'm going to stop this share. I'm going to pull up share screen for, okay, I want AirPlay. So I'm going to use AirPlay. Bear with me just a moment. Oh, on your iPhone, I am connected to Keller Williams. Tap screen mirroring. There it is, screen mirroring. Select down from the top of the screen. Okay. Not working for me. <laughs> Come on. Uh, oh, that's why. Screen mirroring. Zoom. Okay, we can see my screen now. Yay. So I'm going to click on the KW app, which is in the right-hand corner for me. It's going to load up. And automatically, it shows us that around us, we have a couple properties for sale. Um, if I want to, let's say I drive someplace else, there's a little arrow button in the corner. And right now, I wish I could share my screen at the same time, but I can't. There's an arrow button right where you see the search bar. It's like a 3D arrow. I'm going to click on that. It just turned blue. And it's taking my location, and it's finding all the properties for sale around us right now. So now we're looking at all the properties that are around us. And I can, if I want to click on it, I can zoom in. A little bit. Let's say I want to click on this 499 house, which is popping up. And if I just tap it, it's going to pop up here. And the image is not very clear. The second one is. That's nice. Only three images, and it's just a plot of land. If I want more info, I can tap on the picture and I can look through it here. And it gives me all the information that I could want if I'm a consumer. So like driving directions from my current location. 
uh, nearby schools, mortgage payment, monthly payment. I can apply for a mortgage right here on the app through Keller Mortgage and Keller Cover get my insurance. I can schedule a tour. I can schedule a video tour if I want to. Oh, it froze for me. Come on. Sorry, the AirPlay froze. I'm going to come on, work, 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 work. Why is that not working? I'm going to do it one more time. Share. Share. App. There we go. Um, I could schedule a video tour. So you'll get a notification if somebody wants a video tour and it shows us nearby homes. Uh, this will be, it'll show the same information for every home that we click on. And if I want to go back to the map, there's a down button arrow. So at the very top, you'll see a, the down arrow and then on the other side, a heart, uh, an eyeball with a slash in it and a, like a forwarding arrow. Uh, if I click on the down arrow, it'll bring me back to the map. If I click on the map again, it'll put that away. So I tap the map. That's And if I want to look through filters, there's right below the search box, it says price, beds, property type, and more. If I click on price, I can set the price. If I click on beds, I can set the bed. Same thing with property type and with more. So more will take me to a new screen and I can put in that information. So they can narrow it down for sure. Now, if I'm going to make sure that my app is branded to me, I'm gonna click on the more button at the bottom. So it'll say search, feed, guide, saved, and more. I'm gonna click on more. Come on, I'm just airplay work. Arrgh. Keeps disconnecting, I'm sorry. Okay. So I went, I clicked on more, and this is what the more screen looks like. Uh, I can, if I am not in here, I will not be listed on here. So if I click on, refer, oh no. This has changed. I'm automatically branded to my app once it's downloaded. Uh, it doesn't look like I can change it. Let me click on my account. That's where it used to be. My account, no. This is, now this is the consumer app. So this is what your consumer is going to see. Uh, it's not, this is not the back end for you. Your, where you can see things happening is inside of command on each individual's uh, contact card where you can see in the app and what kind of sa searches they've saved and so on and so forth. Um, oh, here, share the KW app. I can share it and my unique link app code is already in there. So it's branded to me. I can share it through different ways on the iPhone. Um, Androids are different. I don't know what they look like, but this is for the iPhone. Uh, legal, I can sign out. I sign out. So if I sign out, if I'm not signed in, I can find an agent by clicking on, uh, you can't see it because it's disconnected. Hold on. I'm going to have to get upgrade, I think. This didn't even. Stop. Sorry guys, all these technical difficulties. Show this again. Screen share, come on. Go, go away. 
now it doesn't even want to do it. Okay, so I am going to stop sharing because my phone doesn't want to work. I'm sorry, I really am. I wish I could make it work, but it doesn't want to. So we're going to set that aside. I'm going to show you inside of command, though, where you can see the activity of a person that's looking on your app. So I'm going to share my screen to show my command again. OK, so I'm back inside of command. I'm going to click on the two people for my contacts. And I am going to, if I click on filters, I'm going to see if there's the option for me to show if they're branded to me down here. If I click yes, it's going to show me only the people that have my app. So three people have my app. Oh, Lisa has my app branded to me. That's nice. Um, I'm going to choose myself. And I can see right here that today in my timeline, I viewed 1106 South McCall Road. And then I viewed it again earlier, and then a task expired for me. But I can see all their activity in here. If I come back up to the top, it says Timeline, Opportunities, Smart Plans, Tasks, Notes, and Save Searches. If I click on Save Searches, these are the searches that they've created inside of the app or through the website. So this is most likely the app because this is where we create an account. So I can see that they have created this, or I created this one for them because I can edit it and delete it. And that search is automatically in their profile, but they have created this one because I can't edit or delete it. Only they can do that through the app. So if I click, it doesn't let me do clicking it, but if I click Create Safe Search, it'll show me what kind of search preferences that they want, and I can change that there. So I can create a new search for them. Uh, they can say what they're looking for, and I can send it directly to their app. And I'll click Create, and it'll pop up in here. And that's, that's really with the app. I wish I could so, show you a little bit more on the app, but my AirPlay was not working. Do we have any questions that I can answer for you today? Hey, Blake, I was messing around on that app for a second, and it looks like you can share on your Facebook and everything. Yeah, yeah, can absolutely. Do, All right, do you have an Android phone? No, I got um, Apple. Okay, yeah, if you can, there's several different things you can share on. I'm gonna stop sharing this here. Uh, there are several different things you can share on uh, with your app link. You can put your app link right in your email. You could send it uh, through videos. You can do a whole different types of things. As long as you have that link, you can put it anywhere you want. I just noticed that when you were going through the phone, I was going on my phone too, you know. Good. And I see now, seeing join, you know, send it through Facebook. I'm like, oh wow, this is nice. Yeah, so I just want to make sure. If you do a lot of stuff through Facebook, let's say you do a Facebook campaign, um, mm -hmm. you can you can do a download my app campaign with Facebook ads through through our uh, command. Permission. Okay, that'd be, that'd be a good way to get your Facebook friend to get your their app in your hands. Or, yeah, your app in their hands. Okay, <laughs> I've been trying to tell everybody about it, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like nobody's doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. The it takes seventeen touches for someone to just go, "Oh yeah, that's right. You're in real estate." So even my sister. Yeah, <laughs> she, she's looking for hot houses down here. I'm look. I'm sending this stuff. For like she wants to spend like half a million dollars, and I'm like. If you download my app, you can look at all those different areas. And right. she's just like, well, I'll do it in a second. And then that was like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom, it's, it's, my mom is likes to look at property all the time and go, why aren't you looking at it on my website? Open, yeah, my, app. Open my app. <laughs> do it there. Don't look, yeah. at, don't look at realtor.com. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Good, so it's just not me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's it takes a lot. Just send, keep telling them that you have it and that you're a realtor. Someone mm -hmm. will go, oh yeah, that's right. I need to sell my house, or I need to buy a house, or I need to look for houses. Yeah, I'll pull yeah, it up. definitely. <laughs> I, I also have a good case study 
for at least I call it a case study. Um, mm -hmm. My mom again, she goes, you know, I would never use my original realtor to sell this condo because she doesn't send me messages or not messages, but she doesn't send me postcards. She doesn't uh, send me emails or anything like that. But the property mm -hmm. management company who is actually with us, one of them, um, mm -hmm. sends her information all the time. And she's like, oh, I would list with them in a heartbeat if I was going to sell this condo. She says, well, I would list with you. And I go, yeah, you better list yeah. with them. Yeah, yeah, better. <laughs> so it's like, if it wasn't you, I would list with them. So. Wow. And it's, it's, it's important to, even the, the property that we just got, I'm, I'm like, we got to get the guys, uh, it's a boyfriend, girlfriend. We got to get their name, you know, their uh, birthdays and stuff like that. So we can send and them, cars. send them cards and different things. It's, I mean, those personal touches are great. I love getting a mm -hmm. card. I love getting a sticky note sometimes. So <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I like to get a candy wrapper that has like a little message in it. Oh, what is it? Like some chocolate to it? <laughs> <laughs> I used to leave them on my desk. <laughs> like they, they ate the chocolate, but they lived, left the wrapper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I still liked it. <laughs> So like she's easy to do while I eat the chocolate. Yeah. I know, right? Here's a little mess. I want the chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care about <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. I have a two o'clock appointment I gotta make. Um, if you have any all questions, right. just let me know. I'd be happy to help. And I thanks will a lot. Talk to you all later. It's my pleasure. I did a great right. job. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye John. Bye, Marlene. <laughs>